Good evening, Church. Amen. It is a blessing to be back here in church during uh, midweek po, no? Midweek service natin and it is uh, none other uh, blessing na mapunta po dito ngayon with our fellow members kahit na medyo mahirap and medyo ma- hindi po maganda ang panahon, traffic, pero giving time for our Lord is uh, wala pong mas gaganda pa po doon. So let us all stand. And let us start our service by singing hymns unto our Lord. We will be singing at Calvary, hymnal number 67. We will be singing the first and second stanza. Hymnal number 67, on the first stanza, ready, sing. Years I spent in vanity. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord. Thank you for the many blessings that you given to us. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us uh, from our res- respective places, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you po kami, Lord, sa pagpunta dito sa Baisimban, Lord, to worship and praise you, Lord. And Lord, I pray for uh, this service, Lord, bless the preaching of your word, and most especially, Lord, uh, sa mga sa, ka, kay Pastor Solomon po sa kanyang i-preach po ngayong gabi. And I pray, Lord, for sa mga papadating pa po, Lord, na ingatan niyo po sila na safe po, Lord. This all I ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated as we call on Pastor. Yes, good evening. Welcome to our midweek service. Uh, meron ba kayong mga blessings want to share to us? Si Brother David meron to eh. Ayan, nakita mo. At war, nabasa ka utak mo, Brad eh. Kita mo ah, sabay na. Mike, Mike. Uh, panay PM sa akin ito, maraming blessings. Uh, good evening, Church. Uh, by God's grace, I would like to uh, share this wonderful blessing to each and everyone. Uh, last few weeks ago, uh, marami po akong pinuntang lugar. Kasi may nilalakad po ako ng mga documents and papers all day. Uh, kasi uh, need po ng wife ko. Siyempre, kailangan namin pumunta sa mga uh, taon or mga lugar na pwede namin uh, bigyan ng mga letters. By God's grace, during that time na uh, nagbibigay ako all day ng mga requirements from different agency, uh, I was able to pass out trucks Nakaubos po ako ng uh, more than a bundle ng trucks natin. Kaya blessing po na kailangan po talaga na may hand din tayo palagi na trucks. Kasi kung saan po tayong area mapunta, uh, mabilis po natin ma-share yung Word of God. And blessing po, lahat po na nabigyan ko ni isa, wala pong nag-turn down yung trucks natin. So by God's grace, even po yung mga vendors na nasa karsada, traffic enforcer, So, binigyan ko po until nakauwi po ako. Ganun po yung blessing na may share po natin mabuti ang salita ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan po ng 
pagpas ng trucks. And by the way, blessing din po na uh, during po dun sa mga letters na pinas ko sa government agency for the medicines ng wife ko, alam po naman natin na uh, kailangan ng gamot. Uh, by God's grace po, uh, the government gave us the medicine na need for, for chemos, chemotherapy. So, yun po yung blessing. Kasi we are praying that uh, God shall supply all our needs, uh, financially, emotionally, and physically. But by the grace of God, through medicine, we are able, uh, God able to give the medicine for chemo. So, yun po yung blessings na nais ko po i-share. Amen. Talaga naman, no? Uh, ganyang kakapal yung hawak ni Brother David na trucks, no? He, and he was able to distribute them. And siguro, isa lang tumanggap na kaluluwa doon. May rejoicing na sa heaven, Brother David. And we thank the Lord for God's provision uh, ng Panginoon sa iyong wife. And we continue to pray, Brother David. Kasama ka namin sa prayer na yan. Any more blessing or you want to testify? Si Sister Viray. Ma'am Lilia, magamit ka pong mic para marinig mo ng iba. Good evening, Church. Blessing ng last Sunday during Friend Day kasi uh, nag, uh, tumanggap sa Panginoon yung sister-in-law ko at yung kanyang apo. Wow. And that's a blessing for me. Wow, amen. Good to hear that. Uh, overwhelming. Mamaya magta-thanksgiving tayo sa Panginoon. Meron pa tayong isa sa Sunday. Any more? Thank you. Ayan, si Sister Maria Corazon. Yung pangalan ko rin. Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Sorry, ma'am. Ano nickname mo? Kasi... Lala. Lala. Lala lang pala. Lala land. Ganyan. Sorry, kasi ka pangalan. Sa messenger, ang pangalan niya, Maria Corazon. Lala. Sige, ma'am. Sister Lala. Uh, good evening, Church. It is always a blessing na ma-share ma sa mga driver na kahit nagda-drive sila i was um na yung code ko ko yung bridge gap na i-share ko sa kanya It's, at the same time nasa kanya yung ano yung gospel track and then um kanina he was eager eager to listen and then syempre ako I was excited to share the gospel buti nga minsan kasi hindi ako nakakapag mahirap magsalita so, so, sa exam excitement but through the work of the holy spirit naturuan ako magsalita ng tama at na i uh, share yung bridge gap ng mabuti at nakatanggap and i was able to invite him and kasama yung mga family niya this sunday hopefully makapunta sila uh, yun ang parati ko sinasa sinasabi sa kanila, you can come, you are free to come, and you are welcome to uh, uh, to our church and listen to the word of God. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Nakita ko na yung bridge gap ko, no? nakalaminated. Ito pala yun. Hundreds of souls na ang nasirang ko through this bridge gap. Okay, maganda, laminated. Amen, Sister Lala. Ayan, hindi na Maria Corazon. <laughs> Okay, any more? Oh yeah, sister, uh, sister, brother Lee. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good evening, Church. Uh, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon uh, dahil uh, marami pong mga estudyante ko po noong Sunday ang naka-attend ng Friend Day and uh, they accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Actually, uh, in every class po, Sila po talaga yung online class ko, online student. And this is also my first time to meet them in person. And although na-sharean na ko pa rin sila, na-sharean ko sila lagi ng gospel every meeting namin sa aming klase. Pero hindi po ako ganun ka-sure. Dahil nga po, siya, hindi po natin sure yung sometimes yung mga estudyante ay nagbumultaytas or ano, kasi hindi rin po sila Hindi ko rin po sila yung pinaforce na um, naka-on naka -on yung audio, ay yung, yung, ano, yung, yung video nila sa aming online class. So, uh, pinapag-pray ko talaga na, lagi, na maka -ano talaga sila, maka-mataniman sila and ma 
maunawaan nila yung gift of salvation. And another ano, opportunity na ma-invite sila and inaccept nila yung invitation at marami pong naka-attend last Sunday. I hope and pray na, pag-pray nyo rin po ako and yung misis ko as we teach uh, WCC students. Um, na lalo pang mag-ano po, ma- marami pa po kaming ma- bahagi na ng kanyang silita. Actually, uh, yung subject po talaga namin doon is parang ano, theology one. <laughs> Kung yung ano po, yung tinuturo ko po ngayon is like theology one. Uh, uh, who Jesus is or discovering Jesus. So, yun po yung ano ko, sa, yung subject ko sa kanila ngayon. And I hope na lalo, lalo pa nilang makilala si Jesus Christ this semester or hindi lang this semester habang nagturo ako hanggang sila, sila ano, makagraduate po. And yun po, another <clears throat> set of student po na ano po, prayer ko rin po next Sunday. Another set of students po, actually yung umaten po noong Sunday, hindi po sila yung a-attend sa Sunday. Iba naman pong students yun. So, meron na po kaming nasa 100 as uh, of ngayon uh, na pupunta ulit sa Sunday sa evangelistic. And pray nyo rin po kasi yung ibang students is <clears throat> strict ang parents and bawal silang gabihin. And so, yun po ang kanilang problem. Pero hindi po naman namin sila pinaforce na ano, na umatan kung ano lang po. Ayun po. So, yun din po ang prayer namin. At sa sana po ay makarating sila and yung safety and good weather din po para wala pong hindrance sa kanilang pag-attend sa Sunday po. Thank you po. To God be the glory. Papalitan na natin yung pangalan ng WCC. Gawin na natin Win the College for Christ. Yan ang bagong pangalan niya. Ibibin na natin yung college na yan, for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank the Lord. Amen. So let's get our partner. Isabay na natin yung mga prayer request po rito kasi dito ipagpe-pray yung uh, the choir concert sa Sunday. So let's get our partner. Go, go, go.
Shall we continue in prayer? Lord, we thank you for tonight. We thank you, for Lord, for last Sunday, for giving us the victory. Yes, it was indeed a great friend day. A lot of people came to know thee as their Lord and Savior. And we don't know their hearts. And we just pray that they genuinely receive thee as their Lord and Savior. And thank you, Lord, for souls that got saved this Sunday. And we bring you the glory for that. This coming Sunday, we are still praying, acknowledging our limitations that we, we really need to tell this to you, Lord, that again, show us your power. This coming Sunday, use our choir, use the songs, use the preaching of your word above all so that our friends may know that man in the middle what he has done for us, what he has done for humanity. I pray, Lord, that you would empower us with thine Holy Spirit. And don't let the enemy hinder this great work this coming Sunday. Lord, we ask forgiveness from all our sins. And we know this is the desire of our hearts so that many people will be brought to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this coming November, we will be having our mission month. Bless us, bless this church once again. Open our hearts and our minds as we give importance to the missions. We are praying for the victory this coming November. And this coming December, we will be having three cantatas, junior cantata, the Royal Christian Academy Cantata and the Choir Cantata. And again, our main goal is to bring more souls to the Lord. So we are praying for the success of three cantatas this coming December. And in advance, we are praying for the 76th church anniversary this coming January, early 2025. Lord, guide us on the things that we are going to do and we are so thankful that you have given us 76 fruitful years, 76 years of God's faithfulness. And I pray that you would continually in, give increase to this church, increase in quantity, increase in quality, especially in the believer's maturity. Every believer would grow in their Christian faith. Lord, give us always victory. And we are praying for your guidance upon your servant as I lead your church. Give me the wisdom in every decision that I do. That in this, every decision would really magnify your word. It would really give us the right direction. And we know we are heading to the right direction. And we praise you for what you are doing in our church every Sunday. And this coming Sunday, we are praying for victorious services, morning and afternoon services. Tonight, your word will be preached again. Empower your sermon and uh, speak unto us once again through your word. We commit all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Uh, welcome natin na bawat isa. Let's all stand up. Is there song leader? Let's welcome. Ang bawat isa. Let's go. Let us sing our welcome song as we greet each other tonight. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome. Si Cristo, bigaya ng buhay, kung siya'y manunubos mo. Babaguhin ang iyong buhay, kung siya'y kakamtan. Ang maging kay Cristo ay tunay na ligaya. Amen. 
And as we all go back to our respective seats, let us sing one more song before we listen to the Word of God. Please get your hymnals and turn it to hymnal number 120. Hymnal number 120, Whisper a Prayer. We will be singing the first two stanzas. On the first stanza, ready, sing. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer. Listen to the Word of God. Open your Bibles to the book of Mark. Today, we are going to talk again prayer. Last time, we talked about the Lord's hidden ministry. And I want to talk about prayer once again. Mark chapter 14. Sige, tayo tayo ulit, tayo tayo. Nakita ko yung dalawa na katayo. As we give reverence to the Word of God. Mark chapter 14. Beginning verse 37. I'll be reading two verses only. Verses 37 and 38. The Bible says, And he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldest not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. May God bless the reading of his word. Shall we pray, Lord? We thank you for the word of God. We thank you for the privilege of talking to you through prayers. And right now, help us to understand your word. Again, is another insight about the importance of prayer in our life. Thank you, Lord, for all of the great things that you have done unto us and for who you are in our lives. May your name be exalted in the midst of us. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. The passage is about when Christ brought his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane. Moments from that, the Lord Jesus Christ would be delivered into the hands of the Gentiles. And the Lord Jesus Christ knew very well that he is going to face one of the most important challenges in his life. He is going to face Calvary. And in order for him to be victorious, he had to pray because he is going to save mankind upon his death on Calvary. And when the Lord Jesus Christ, well, he could pray alone, just like what we have learned last time. The Lord always went to a solitary place. He went far away to a mountain to pray. He can do that. But at this time, he brought three disciples with him. Namely, they were Simon, Peter, Peter, James, and John. Palaging kasama niya yung tatlo na yan, ano? Uh, prominent people itong tao na ito, itong mga tao na ito, Peter, James, and John. And the Lord took them on that garden of Gethsemane. And while uh, the Lord gave them some words, sinabi niya na pwede bang mag-pray kayo sa akin ng, with me one hour? And ang title ng preaching natin is Just One Hour. Just one hour. Could, couldest not thou watched one hour? This is the Lord's request to Peter. 
one hour with the Lord. And the Lord pleaded for one hour. Yes, he is God, but he needed a prayer, a praying companion, just one hour. And I tell you, one hour, one hour is too long for those who do not pray. Do you believe that? One hour is too long. Masyadong mahaba yon para sa mga taong hindi nagpe-pray. Para sa mga Christian hindi na nagpe-pray. Pero sa mga young people, yung one hour, yung mag-scroll ng face, sa Facebook, nako, one minute lang yon. Pero one hour, it's too long for those who don't pray. It's too long for an average Christian to spend with the Lord. One hour, it's too long for an average Christian to spend with the Lord. But it's, but it's too short for those who know the cost. One hour, the Lord was pleading, was asking one hour, not two hours, not even a half day. Makikita natin dito, we spend, how many hours do we have in one day? On one day? We have all 24 hours. Wala naman extended na 25 hours. Lahat tayo, pare-pareho lang tayo, 24 hours. And the Lord was asking one hour from His disciples. One hour. The Lord said, you have to spend one hour with me or else, sabi niya, for the flesh is weak because temptation is inviting. I tell you, one hour, one hour with Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking one quality hour. He is asking one comforting hour, one praying hour, one devotional hour, one meaningful hour, one precious hour, one victorious hour, one spiritual hour, one blessed hour, one peaceful hour, one meditating hour, one sacred hour, one solitary hour, one sweet hour, one joyful hour, one struggling hour, one serious hour, one reflecting hour, one pondering hour, and one wrestling hour from us. And he is really asking one hour from us, just one hour. When the Lord Jesus Christ spoke these things to Peter, after telling that in verse 39, nung pagbalik niya, Yung tatlo, natutulog pa rin. Kasi sabi ng verse 39, and he spake the same words. Look at that, in verse 39. And again, he went away and prayed and spake the same words. In verse 40, and when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, neither wished they what to answer him. Their eyes were heavy. Di ko alam bakit natutulog si Peter. Pagod kaya si Peter? Well, siguro pagod sila in the, in the entire ministry. Siguro kung meron mas pagod sa kanilang apat, I believe it's the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the Lord saw Peter and the other two, He found them, kasi sabi ng Bible, plural, eh, He found them asleep. The Lord found no response to His request. He was requesting from these three disciples, can you, could, could this not pray with me one hour? And after that, he went to them. They were sleeping. He found no response to his request. He found no answer to his request. The same thing, believers, if the Lord will visit our prayer room, would there be activities in our prayer room? Would there be prayers in our closet room, when he visits our prayer closet, ano kaya makikita niya? No movement, no communication, no talking, no asking, no prayers. And soon his disciples would desert him. Soon his disciples would deny him. The Lord Jesus Christ was asking one hour, one hour. What happened? Pag sinabi niyo sa Bible, pag binasa niyo, the Lord Jesus Christ went again on the third time in verse 41. Anong nakita ng Panginoon? On the third time, natutulog pa rin sila. And they were really sleeping. 
and one hour spending without time with Jesus Christ. Spending. Alam niyo what happened when we leave our prayer closet? Hindi tayo nag, nag-spend ng time with the Lord. What happened to this? It would really result into carnality. It would really result of being beak, being weak. You know what happened to Peter? After this, sabi ng Bible kasi, uh, well, misa nag-iisip ako, no, what if? What if? Tung three disciples, they watched and prayed with Jesus Christ for one hour. What happened to Peter? What happened to these three? Nung di sila nag-pray. Alam niyo, sabi ng Bible, uh, kasi pag binag-aralan niyo sa verse, look at verse 31. But he spake the more vehemently, if I should die with thee, Peter said, I will not deny thee in any wise. Look at Peter, ha? Sabi niya sa Panginoon, I will not deny thee in any wise. Because the Lord said, Hey Peter, you're going to deny me and the cock will you know, cock crow twice and he shall deny me thrice. Sinabi na ng Panginoon niya, but Peter, sabi niya, Lord, whatever happened, I'm not going to deny you. There is so much pride with Peter. Ang yabang ni Peter, Lord, hindi ka namin, hindi kita i-deny. Likewise also said they all. Alam niyo, minsan ng Krisyano, maraming kayabangan eh. Ah, hindi kita, hindi kita iiwan, Lord. I'll be here. Hindi ako magkukwit sa ministry, Lord. Pero etong sikatan, kung nga hindi ka makapag-pray eh, tatagal ka pa ba sa ministry? Alam niyo, isang Krisyano, tumatagal lang sa ministry pag prayerful. If you are a prayerless Christian, hindi ka tatagal sa ministry. Just like Peter, he thought that he is strong enough. Alam niya, alam niya kaya niya, but prayerlessness, trusting yourself. Pride is a result of prayerlessness. I tell you, you can never make it without prayer. You can never make it, students, you can never make it without prayer. Yabang ni Peter. And then sooner, when he followed the Lord, alam niyo naman yung story, eh? when, he, when he followed the Lord dun sa palace, tinanong siya three times, he was asked. Kiling siya, kilalang kilala siya, ikaw talaga yung pumutol, yung nagtagpas ng tenga nung ni Malcus, eh. servant, kamag-anak ng ano, isang servant yun. What was the reply of Peter? Sabi niya, I know not the man. I know not the man. What if, eto nagtanong ko kanina, what if, Peter prayed, watched and prayed with Jesus Christ one hour. Siguro, no, the story could have been different. The story could have been different. Siguro kung tinanong si Peter, kasama ka nun eh. Uh, yeah, I am with Jesus Christ. And I am willing to die with my Lord. Siguro nag-iba istorya ni Peter nung tinanong siya. Kasi naniniwala ako, kahit aminin ni Peter, nakasama siya ng Panginoon, kung di pa niya time ipapatay, hindi siya mamamatay. Kasi may purpose pa ang Panginoon. He will be, what? Preacher. He will preach at Pentecost. But he is not, dami sabi ng Bible, hindi lang siya pride, eh. meron din siyang cowardice, naging duwag din siya. You know, cowardice, it is also a result of prayerlessness. Simon, sleepest thou? Could it not, couldest not thou watch one hour? Parang sinasabi ng Panginoon, after one hour, you can sleep anytime you want. But at this time, I need you to pray with me. We can have our time for ourselves, but the Lord is requesting one hour for Him. One hour with Him. And would you give it to Him? Would you spend it to Jesus Christ? Will you not sleep? And for the third time, there was no watching. There was no praying. And the results were damaging and devastating. Kinumpit ko eh. The disciples, how many years the disciples spent time with Jesus Christ? If you are going to be exact with that, the Lord Jesus Christ spent time with His disciples around three and a half years. 
Sabi ng mga mga ano, hindi, more than three years yan, mga three and a half. Punta na tayo sa three and a half years. I-maximize na natin. And I computed it. Don't you know? Three and a half years with Jesus Christ, the Lord spent 30,060 hours. He spent 30,060 hours with His disciples. And at this time, sabi ng Panginoon, parang sinasabi niya, I spent 30,060 hours with you. Could this not watch with me, pray with me one hour? One hour? In one hour? You know what happened to Jesus Christ when He spent one hour with the Father? Jesus received comfort. Jesus received strength from the Father. Jesus received peace. Alam niyo naman ang istorya niya, when he was brought to Gabbatha, when he was brought to Golgotha, the Lord Jesus Christ maintained that peace. He was accused, he was tortured. Lahat ginawa sa kanya, but he maintained that peace. Why? Because he prayed at the Garden of Gethsemane. You know why you are defeated in your Christian life? You miss spending time just one hour with God. Just one hour. 24 hours. Tignan 24 hours. I'm going to ask you, na-spend you ba yung one hour with the Lord? Kanina lang. Alam nyo, nag-start ng prayer meeting alas 6. Matatapos ng 7. And I thank the Lord, you spend time one hour with the Lord ang nakakaya, yung mga taong nanonood sa akin, yung mga taong may time sanang pumunta ng 6 to 7 at hindi pumunta. And they miss it. The reason why the friend day was victorious last Sunday, hindi, it's not because magagaling tayo, it's because we spent time in prayers. That's the reason why Sunday's service was victorious. Because of prayer warriors. Huwag niyong kukunin yung glory na yan. Lahat yan sa Diyos. Amen. Yung kultura natin, magiging kultura natin, 8.30 to 9.30 hours lang naman yan. Hindi yan one hour. Magiging, di ba magandang tradisyon at kultura ba yun? Magiging kultura ng Santa Mesa, 8.30 to 9, may nagpe-pray here. Amen ba yan? Even the power of darkness, hindi mananalo when there are Christians that they bend their knees before God. Ang problema lang sa mga Kristiyano, tamad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against cell phone. Use this napaka-powerful ng cell phone. Tatawag ka sa mga anak mo, check mo sila. Update mo, di ba? But I tell you, maraming guilty. You spend so much time with these gadgets. Nag-disbook. Well, I love... Gusto, ako, mahilig din ako mag-chika-chika. Mahilig ako dyan. Ako, di ako babae, pero mahilig ako sa chika-chika. You know? Kasi alam ko, babae lang mahilig dyan. You know? Walang problema dyan. Pero huwag niyong kalilimutan, spend one hour with the Lord. Huwag niyo naman makalimutan. Kasi kayong kumarit. Tatlong oras na kayo na mamalengke. Bitin pa, mamre, ha? bitin tayo. Mamaya, tuloy natin yung chika-chika natin na. Spend one hour with the Lord. Young people, magiging powerful na young people kayo. If you spend more time with the Lord, spend time reading your Bible, spend time prayer, praying, look what will happen to your life. Mag-iba ang pananaw nyo. Mag-iba ang pananaw nyo sa church. Mag-iba ang pananaw nyo sa leaders. Mag-iba ang pananaw nyo sa mga pastors. Mag-iba ang pananaw nyo sa mga authority. Magiging respectful kayo. Magiging obedient kayo. Magiging mabait kayong bata. Why? You have found the secret of strong Christians. 
Jesus Christ told them, can you not spend with me one hour? Look at that. When Christ was crucified, the enemy thought that he won against Jesus Christ. But after three days, he rose again. What was the secret? Spending time at Gethsemane. One hour with the Lord. One hour with Jesus Christ. One hour. Kanina sinabi kiyan. One quality hour with the Lord. And at this time, you made a right decision. You came over. Six to seven. One hour. Ang bilis naman ng prayer meeting. One hour lang. Nagtataka ako. One hour lang. Gawin natin kayang three hours. Alin nyo talaga pag prayer? Bitin pa rin ng three hours. I tell you. Naranasan nyo na mag-overnight prayer dito. Yung overnight, walang tulungan. Ha? Nag-start ng 7 ng o'clock ng, ma, ng, ng gabi, hanggang 7 o'clock ng umaga, walang tulugan. Have you experienced that? Yung pinanggalingan ng church, meron silang ganun. Overnight prayer, walang tulugan. Kala nyo si Herman Moreno lang ang walang tulugan? Walang tulugan talaga, 7 to 7. Amen. Kaya ako, ina-challenge yung kayo, 76th anniversary, don't take it for granted. We are going to pray for the victory. Don't take it for granted. Every ministry, whether it is small or great, Sunday school teacher lang naman ako ng mga bata, kahit konting prayer lang, konting aral lang, hey, spend time, more time in preparing yourself. Whether small or great, importante lahat yan sa Panginoon. Young people, do you spend time with the Lord? Ang dami nating time. Huwag niyo sabihin wala kayong time. Even tayo mga nag-work, we have all the time. 24 hours ba gumagana ang utak niyo? 8 hours ba pag nagtrabaho sa labas? Gumagana lahat ang utak niyo? Meron naman, meron naman break time dyan. Ah. While you were working, you can pray. Pwede naman magpost, sabi mo, where is the prayer request of our church, Wednesday? Pwede niyong dalhin to sa work niyo, dalhin niyo to. Just one hour. Huwag kayong maramot sa time because God is so gracious. God has given us 24 hours. Just one hour with the Lord. And the Lord, when He went to the disciples, they were sleeping. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, the most neglected service in the church is the Wednesday prayer meeting. And that was the problem of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang ganda, no? One hour. Ito na yung magiging battle cry ko. Pwede ba, mga Christians, if you can go to church Wednesday, just one hour. One hour with the Lord. Kanina, patrack ko sa Brother David, ang bilis ng oras, sabi ko, pinabilis na nga natin prayer natin, pero pag nagpe-pray ka talaga, Brother David, Hindi mo mapapansin, ang tagal na na pala natin nag-pray. Sabi ko, ang bilis ng oras ha. Kasi pag nagpe-pray ka talaga, alam niyo pag nagdi-devotion ka, nagbabasa ka ng, tayo, ng, ng word of God. You know, honestly, wala rin ito yung mga anak ko. You know, honestly, when they were, mga anak ko, mga, they, when they were kids, tinirain ko sila, you read your Bible before you go to school. You read your Bible. Hindi ko alam kung nagbabasa pa rin sila, pero nakikita ko si Bunso. Hindi ko alam yung dalawa. Siguro nagbabasa secretly kasi tinatanong ko sila, are you still reading your Bible? Ang sagot naman nila, yes, Papa. Because that's the key. Spend time. Kasi marami yung people na ang tagal ng time sa PS4, ang tagal ng time sa gano. Ah, kaya marami yung people na kukumit ng kasalanan, ang bababaw na, di ba? Mga yung people, hindi sumusunod sa pag-spiritual kayo, iba ang pananaw nyo. Amen ba? Just one hour. One hour. Kaya mga young people, huwag niyong katatamaran umati ng saya. Mga young people na, pag tinatanong ko mga young people, ba't ka umati na young people? Eh, Pastor, busy po ako eh. Busy ka? Masarap, asarap. Ba bakit may pamilya ka na ba? Ngayon, people, hindi kayo busy. Marami lang kayo mga idle moment. Hindi nyo lang alat tamang gamitin. Manage your time. You have all the time. That's why the Bible says, remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth because God knew that you have all the time in the world. Huwag nyo ring excuse yung mga busy sa trabaho. God has given you 24 hours. 
and you can still give one hour to the Lord. Gawin yung buhay yan every day. One hour. Bigyan ko ng sample. You read your Bible 30 minutes and you spend already 30 minutes with the Lord. And then you spend 30 minutes prayer and you spend one hour with the Lord. Amen ba? Gawin yung lifestyle niyan. One hour a day with the Lord. Whether it is Bible reading, praying, reading books, Christian books, one hour with the Lord. And you, see, you, you will see anong gagawin ng Panginoon sa buhay niyo. Alam niyo, pag ganyan ang lifestyle niyo, whenever you go to church, you are excited. Excited ka pumunta ng church. Excited to hear the Word of God. Excited to sing in the choir. Excited to teach the kids why. You spend one hour with God. Nag-iiba yung pananaw mo. Nililinis ng Panginoon yung pag-iisip mo. Nililinis ng Panginoon even your heart attitude. And your attitude as a Christian. One hour. Si Peter, kala niya, kaya niya. He did Walang, alin, meron akong estudyante. During those times, meron tinatawag na PEPT. You know, PEPT? Philippine Exam, Examination Placement Test. Yung pag hindi ka nakakuha ng college, you will take para makapag-college ka. You know that? May PEPT pa ba ngayon? Wala nang PEPT. Meron akong estudyante. Sabi ng mga klasa sa amin niya, let's pray. Sabi ng isa, walang pray-pray. Kaya ko yan. Yabang. You know what happened? He took PEPT three times. Hindi siya nakapasa. Yabang. Eh, huwag kayong maging mayabang. Hmm, kayang-kaya mo namin. Galing namin yung Sunday, di ba? Sa Sunday, marami pa rin may kami. May... No. Let's pray. Lord, tulungan mo kami. And if you would do that, it's gonna be victorious. Let's all stand up and let us pray. Lord, we thank you. The Word of God is so precious. The words of Jesus Christ. Why Peter did not listen to Jesus Christ? Their eyes were heavy. Yes, it is true, even in our time. Christians, their eyes are heavy when there is prayer meeting. And I don't know why. Because all we know after Gethsemane, the Lord Jesus Christ was, very, was victorious in every step that He made. What if, if we will spend one hour with the Lord every day? And let's see what will happen in our Christian life. And I believe so. There will be, there will be victories. There will be success. There will be humility. There will be growing. There will be maturity. Just one hour. Just one sweet hour with our Savior. One hour reading our Bible, one hour praying, one hour spending time with the Lord. And it would create impact in our life and it will create impact in our church. Lord, this coming Sunday, we are again begging you, empower us. We are praying for another victory for the, that man in the middle. It's a choir concert. They will be singing about the Lord Jesus Christ on how He died for us. And our friends would come. Don't let the enemy hinder them. And Lord, we are asking your victory, your guidance once again. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in our church. This coming Sunday, there are some activities that will be uh, done. And I pray, Lord, that you would guide us. Guide your servant. Give me wisdom in every decision that I make. And it might be it. And I pray, Lord, that it will always be your will. Bless our offering, even in our departure from this place. Protect us with thine grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Let's get our offering. Okay, one more closing song. Brother, hindi talaga to song leader. Ha? Forgive him, hindi talaga siya song leader. Okay, again lang niya, okay? 
So, no, wala, wala yung song leader natin. Para maintindihan nila ba rin. Thank you, Pastor, for the challenge. As we close, let us all stand and let us sing the last stanza of hymnal number 120, Whisper a Prayer. On the last stanza, ready, sing. Jesus may come in the morning. Jesus may come at noon. Jesus may come in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. Amen. You may are dismissed.